up everybody we are uh, into the uh, second day of my second CR01 build last night I got a lot of it done luckily with the uh, with the Jeep one there were some added perks to it I didn't understand why it was more expensive than my uh, Bronco was well now I know the planetary gears and transmission and motor are already mounted and assembled the tires and the bead locks are already assembled, which that's the only thing that kind of sucks because I am going to be changing those tires out. But the biggest and coolest part is it came with the light kit for it. And it comes with four, but it has the option of running up to 16 lights. Now, I've... Uh, I've had some really 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 cool ideas for paint on the Jeep but <clears throat> like doing like a police vehicle or an off road recovery or whatever I think I'm gonna go with the off road recovery it'd be way too hard to do our police department but here's what we're looking at so far I spent 45 minutes masking this off the base coat on the truck is going to be, let me get the paints out for you so you can see better, get a better idea what it's going to be. Our base coat, here's our base, here's our topper, and here is our other. Okay, we've all seen on the, the Ram how it's two different colors of blue, there's a real light blue and there's a darker blue. Figure for the body, we'll rock that darker blue. The top, we're going to rock the champagne. And then for the bumpers and the fender flares, we're going to rock the black. So this is going to be the most extensive paint job to date because it's going to be a three color paint job, which means it's going to take a lot longer to get this body painted than it was the other one since it was two colors and they were fairly easy to do. But this time, I'm, on this video, I'm not really going to be doing anything assembly-wise other than showing you the painted steps and then the completion of the vehicle. But that's yet to be announced when it'll be finished because not all my parts are here. Some of them haven't even shipped yet. Like My ESC is floating around in La La Land right now. I don't know where the hell it is, so... I might take the brushless out of the Wraith, because I honestly, in my opinion, I think the Wraith is too heavy. That one is too heavy for the uh, standard brushless system. I might go brushless in this one. That way I can do the build, but I will be doing Tupperware this time inside the vehicle to completely waterproof it, even though I know brushless and water equals eh uh -uh. So we might end up with a brushless... SCX-10, I might take all that stuff. Might take the just stock, uh, the new AE-2 or AE-3, whatever the hell it is, the new uh, ESC with the drag brake. But, there's just a heads up on the video. I'll show you some more once I get further down the road with her. Forget I give you guys just a quick update. I've let the uh, paint dry. So I can actually mask off around the door, around the back, <clears throat> so I can get the top done in the champagne, and after the champagne's done, we're going to mask off this lower end here, and actually I might do it all in one shot, might get the black done too, but that blue just freaking pops, looks good on a Jeep. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of debating. I kind of really like the white top, but I think the the breakup between gold and blue look pretty good. So that's where we're sitting so far on the uh, Wrangler body. Okay, we moved on now, and uh, we've got the uh, body masked off to go ahead and shoot the top. Once the top is done, pull the masking off yet again. And then I'm going to have to mask around the body to do the fenders and the grill, get all that done in black. But there you go. There's 35 minutes worth of uh, masking and cutting right there just to make this work. 
So we're going to shoot it with Duper Color Champagne. Good solid color. I like the way it looks. And it should look pretty good with a three color combo. So I'm going to start painting this. Hope it comes out good. And then you guys will see the end result. And here we are. Stage two out of three of the paint complete. We've got the champagne top, the, what the hell color is this? Intense blue pearl body, and now I've unmasked all the other areas here that are going to get sprayed with the black, which includes the front bumper, the grill, and the fender flares. So yeah, that worked out really good. I'm lucky enough that the temperature is nice and warm, so the paint has already dried. It's only been sitting about an hour. It's fully dried. This is done this morning. It's nice and dried. All we've got left is to shoot the black and uh, then we'll have a completed body other than putting in the windows, all the other good junk, the chrome trim, and of course mounting the winch down here because I've already slotted where it's going to go. And I'm also tupper wearing all my electronics this time too. So. I'll uh, hit this one. Alright, final installment. We've got the uh, black on. Now I've purposely gone ahead and like marred a few parts on this so it doesn't look perfect. Just to give it that trail look. I don't want it to look brand new right out of the box. But we've got our grill painted. We've got our bumper painted. We've got our fenders. Fender flares painted. All that's left now is to install the light buckets. Put the uh, winch on the front, hook the winch up, run the, uh, run all the wiring up into the little uh, Tupperware container, seal it off, get it isolated from everything else, and we are good to rock. This is the quickest I've ever put one of these together, and I've noticed already that it's got much better tires. It's got uh, what's called a, uh, what are they now? I don't know if they've got a rock crawling tread. They look almost like a, uh, almost like a uh, chisel or a, a panther. They're totally different than the uh, ones down here on the, uh, the CR1 Bronco, CR01. Oh, get it right. But either way, there you go, guys. Paint job on that. I'll show it on the vehicle after I get paint dry and everything mounted.